Freelancer has died of exposure. Press F. What's up guys and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien and today we're looking at r slash choosing beggars. A while back this one. Some background though. I had once driven a friend who didn't wear their seatbelt and copped a $300 fine for it. To this story, a family friend's son needed a lift to the airport early one morning for a long planned trip. I lived about 10 miles from their place and the 30 mile trip I was taking to work the opposite direction took me right past the airport. So it was a bit extra time out of the morning. 15 miles to the west to pick up the suns, then 45 miles east instead of 30 east, but they begged and both phoned me and I said I was good to give them the lift. I turned up in the morning, loaded up the gear, and the sons both in the car and said goodbye to their parents. And we took off. Drove a few miles up the freeway and my seatbelt alert starts pinging. Son one in the front seat has taken off his belt. I asked him to put it on he goes, Nah, I don't do seatbelts. So I pulled over. Looked back at the other son in the back seat, which didn't have alarms, and sure enough he'd taken off his belt too. Then the arguing started. I was blunt as I could be that I'm not risking my license and my money so they could get a free lift. I didn't care one way or another about it. Roughly as follows, paraphrased because it was years ago, but they were both in on it. I'm not moving this car unless the belts are on. I've been fined once before, not doing it again. I told you, I don't do seat belts. Dad's okay with it. I'm not. And you, son too, yours on too. Not moving until they're on. Do you have any idea how dangerous they are in an accident? Son one then puts his behind him and clicks it in. No, belt goes around you, doesn't count. You'll turn the alarm off. Go. You'll see. We need to get going. <laughs> we can, when you put the belt on. I don't give a crap about the alarm. I care it's a 600 buck fine if you two don't have belts on. Come on, we'll be late. Your flight's not for another hour and a half. Belt's on. Son one then calls his dad, complains we stopped. Dad asks why. Son one explains, then his dad tells him to just put the belt on. Someone says okay, but didn't notice I'd heard his dad's side too, and said his dad says I need to get a move on. Me. Not. Until. Belts. Are. On. This goes back and forth to the point I'll be late for work if I don't get going. Son one is all. Fine then. Turn around. I'll get dad to drive. Belts on then. No. I told you already. Then we're not moving. I get out my phone and browse idly showing I'm not moving until their seat belts go on. Son one phones his dad again. His dad sounds really pissed but agrees to pick them up. Both sons get out, take their bags. One slams the door and boot and I drive off. Choosy beggars left behind. I get to work, then get a phone call that son two left his main luggage in the car and they want it dropped off at the airport urgently. They're flying out soon and they need it now. I tell them to get a taxi and I'll meet them out back at my work. They decided to argue it's my responsibility to get them the luggage and again, argue the point. Half an hour later, one turns up in a taxi to get the other's luggage. I should know here, I really don't know these guys well at all. I know one's name for sure and I think I think I know the other, but I might have mixed him up with a cousin from the same suburb. Later that afternoon, I get a phone call from their dad that I've wasted his son's tickets. They weren't able to fly out, couldn't rebook quickly, and they'll miss half their vacation time now. And it was all my fault for stopping so long. I try to explain as clearly as possible that I wasn't going to risk another huge fine and piss off my employer just for the inconvenience of a couple ungrateful idiots, but ended up just hanging up on them. I'm still friends with their mother, who was the original friend of the family, but things are a bit strained between me and her husband and sons. Sons were about 21 and 24 at the time it happened. I thought those seatbelts, you idiot. You, you're allowed to vote and you don't wear a seatbelt? Moron. Old garage be torn down. You are buying the building. 400 cash. I'm not paying anybody. Garage to tear down. $400 cash to me before you start. Must get down and hold off in seven days. No excuses why you can't. Not liable for getting hurt on my property. Garage door, electric service, everything goes. You are buying the building and hauling it off. Condition is used, good. <laughs> Why would this man ever think I was gonna date him? Stop playing yourself, ugly. Glucks for the pizza. Wow, that feels bad, man. Details. It's official. We are thrilled to announce the grand opening for Blank on Friday, May 24th at 10 a.m. Get here early. We're serving our delicious cinnamon rolls for $1 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. only. Open for business all day. Limit $1 roll per customer per visit. All additional orders are regular price. <laughs> Must be present at the time of purchase, ages 3 and up. 3 and up for it? You're giving a 3-year-old a cinnamon roll? No call in orders until 6 p.m. What a waste of time to go there with a restriction of one, one, per person per visit. This place sure knows how to take one off. 
they can stick their buns up their buns. It also says you can buy as many as you like at regular price. I'm ensuring that everyone has a chance to get a bite and not having people just buy an entire load of $1 buns because it's cheaper. It's a grand opening, not a moving sale. Hashtag gluttony. Hi, is it still available? $200 good work contactable? Yeah, not for 200 Good luck elsewhere. Wow, that's exactly like the lawnmower my grandfather was using when he had a heart attack and died. Damn, that sucks. $500. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm 21 years old, I have 4 kids and they are 6 years, 4 years, 1 year, and 5 months. Looking for a guy who is working and will support me financially, also send my kids to private school. Thank you. <laughs> I can't, I'm in disbelief. I'm in genuine disbelief. That's a real post, a real person made that. <laughs> I'll pay you whatever your rate is because I love your art and understand how hard you work. And that's giving me goosebumps just saying that. Photographer looking for people to do their job for free in Chicago. I am a photographer and since people are always looking for free shoots, I assume that they must also do their job or provide their services for free. I am looking to hire all types of people to do all sorts of jobs for me as long as I do not have to pay anything. Just think, you will gain more experience and I will put the word out for you and let everyone know what wonderful work you do. This opportunity will bring you a ton of unpaid work, but everyone will love you. So if you have a job or service you provide and will do it for free, please let me know because I am sure I have work for you and will hire you in a second. Feel free to email me with the service you can provide, when you can start, and please include references. I look forward to your free service. So, a guy bought me a drink when I was out last night and I gave him my number and... Clomat is officially retiring from Nights Out. Hey, who's this? <laughs> we met in Attic last night. Oh yeah, denim dress? That's the one. Nice one. Could you transfer me for those drinks I bought you last night since we didn't go home together? Wasn't really worth my time, was it, lol? That's gross. I mean, fair enough, that's what he was after, but it's gross. <laughs> it's just yucky. Hey, is this still available? Oh, hi, yes, this is still available. Are you interested? Yes, but I was wondering if you could lower the price a bit. Um, sorry, but the ad was listed as non-negotiable. The price is $200. I either keep it or leave it. Frick you. I wanted this for my daughter. She really wanted this, but I can't afford it. Yeah, and I can't afford losing a $200 makeup bundle. Selling never used Apple headphones. Can I have it? Mine's broke. It has a headphone jack. Yeah, it's good for me. Okay, just making sure. So, 20 bucks? Uh, what price you thinking? I don't know even. Is it old, old? No, like came with my iPhone SE, which I got in 2015, 2016. Never used. Do you need money for it? Because I'm broke, I think. Well, I'm selling it for money because I'm also broke, lol. I can drop down to 15 if you want. Well, both of us is broke, so... I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. Lowest I can go is 15, otherwise I'm ripping myself off. I'll take it for free, but I don't know if I can get the money. I don't know about that, because I had that happen before and he literally took it and moved school, so I never saw him again. Oh, but yeah, but it's so old. And it's a link of those exact headphones selling for 39 bucks. That's not how it works, though. Well, then I don't think I'll take it, because paying is going to be hard for me. Okay, you can contact me again when you have the money, and I can sell it to you if I haven't already. Okay, thanks. No prob. But can I see it, like, out of the case to see if it's worth it? I never took it out. Since I never took them out of the wire, I bent to how it was originally. All you have to do is straighten them out with a light pull and it's all good. Can I just borrow it? Please? I don't know if I'll get a new phone. No. The whole point of selling is to trade. In this case, money and headphones. Can we trade? What? A trade for a trade. Trade what? Anything. 15 bucks? I don't know though, last time someone gave me the same thing for free. That was someone, not me. Well, it's just old headphones. Well, they are still worth money. Just allow me. Allow you what? You're just gonna waste the money. What are you talking about? You are buying the headphones off me that doesn't make sense because the money would be mine so it wouldn't matter to you what I do with them. Never mind, bro. <laughs> yeah, nice try. I wasn't trying to trick you, bro, like crap. Calm. I know, bro. Okay. But would you give it to your friends for free, and you don't need it, so give it for free? Ask your parents for money, bro. What do you mean? I'm not giving it to you for free. Listen, kid, this is how business works. I have a product and you want it, so you buy it. Are you going to go to his store and tell them that he would give his products to his friends for free? You must be dumb to think that because I'm giving away things that I paid for for free. So stop begging and tell me to take money from my parents and if you truly wanted it, then buy it. I'm not buying it from you because you think I'm a kid when you're the dumb kid so when you just want to hug it for yourself instead of just giving other people like crap. What are you going on about? I actually don't want it anymore. I'm not dumb for selling a product. And I'm not a stupid kid. Sure, if you don't want it, then stop texting. Fine, bye stupid. <laughs> Okay, bye. Choosing beggars. Can I have this for free? Seller. No. Choosing beggars. But it's a hobby. My kids are sick and won't have a Christmas. Korean restaurant near me had its fair share of choosing beggars. 
Please note, if you order the food, you have to pay for it. No exceptions. Thank you, management. Ran incoming. I'm done being taken advantage of. Absolutely no more free photos anymore, period. I'll probably lose a lot of business because my photos aren't good enough for the 98% of the clout chasers around here anyway, but them's the breaks. I'm through feeling unappreciated and worthless. If you want to shoot, it's $150 for a set of 25 edited shots at two locations. Don't like it? Too bad. Get your money up. Unless I volunteer it, then I'm not free anymore. Time and equipment costs money. You can't pay bills with exposure. People these days will buy merch from their favorite celebrity and support the business of someone who doesn't even know they exist. But God forbid they pay full price for the services of someone they know personally. Just because you know someone and can name drop doesn't entitle you to a discount. I get doing photography for fun. I once did. If you're trying to make a living out of it or get some extra income, don't accept cloud as a form of payment. They won't keep the lights on in your house or gas in your car. I am absolutely not the best photographer in my niche in my area. In fact, I personally believe I'm kind of overrated, but I'm tired of seeing us autistic types not being compensated accordingly for our time and effort. I'm done with my rant for now, but I hope you other photographers agree with me and start charging for the amazing content you create. Your time and your investment in photography is worth just as much as anybody else's efforts. Get paid. You deserve it. And that's something you can take home to everyone. That's a true fact. If you really, really love something, you will actually spend money to do it instead of expecting getting paid to do it. <laughs> Choosing beggars lol. Hi, can you take me today? Let me know ASAP, otherwise I'll have to go elsewhere. Hello, can you please answer me? You're my first choice, but I'll go elsewhere if need be. I guess you don't want my business. As a longtime client, I am extremely disappointed. I will not return as a client due to this behavior on your part. Hi, I'm sorry, I was sleeping. I'm off today, but if you'd like, I can see you tomorrow? Can you take me today? No, I'm off today. I have tomorrow, Thursday, or Saturday available. I need it for today. Can you make an exception for me? No. I'm sorry, I have plans with my kids today. I can refer you to someone wise? I don't want to go elsewhere. I can bring my daughter, she's 16, she can watch them for the hour if you need. I really can't today. I can come right now or anytime, maybe when you get back? It's important that I get my lashes done today. My day with my kids is very important as well and I won't know when I'm coming back and don't want to cut the day short. You're making me very uncomfortable continuously asking me when I keep saying no. Bruh. Where's customer service? What's the point of being a loyal client if it won't pay off? Such a bruh. I need a model today ASAP. You pay $70 cash app or PayPal, you pick the color and I pick the design. Let's make this Monday magical. Free. Looking for a small dog, nothing big. Don't have money to pay for one as I need to get shots and meds. Check animal control and adopt for like $150. Neutering and shots included. Also, consider not taking on the ongoing financial responsibility of an animal who depends on you if you can't even afford its basic medical needs. Can someone please bring me Chick-fil-A to work? I haven't had it in literally two months and no, I don't have no money to pay you back so it could just be a little gift from you? No, it can't be a little gift from me. How about you stop contacting me? How much for Yeezys I saw you were selling? What size? Do you have a five or five and a half? Size five. How much are you selling for? I really want a pair. And where'd you get them? Adidas New York and I want $950. That's way too much. I can get them cheaper elsewhere. I might as well go to Flight Club for that price. Thanks anyway. And then it's $1,500 at Fight Club. I'm sorry, Flight Club. Okay, go to Flight Club. A-hole, you should be giving girls good prices. You're why I hate men. <laughs> sorry, what? Do you still have them? No. <laughs> Pig. What is this girl's problem? Do you still have the shoes that I just insulted you about not giving me a lower price for? I don't understand. Why do people not like sharing their Netflix passwords? It's not like you pay per watch. You don't understand why they won't give you access to something they pay for for their own personal use? Just got paid from a recent freelance job. Check it out. Just a piece of paper. The United States of Freelancia. It's exposure bucks. I love it. North Korea refuses food aid shipments smaller than 300 tons. Food shortages loom and the regime begs the UN for food while refusing smaller donations. Got him. Do you still do minimalistic logos? <laughs> yep, are you interested? Let me see some of your work first. What do you think? Okay, I'll have one with the initial ZH, black and white. Okay, it's $8 PayPal. The frick? I ain't paying crap, I thought this was a nice person making logos. Plus I'm giving you exposure cause I basically got your watermark permanently on my page. I'm sorry I misled you, have a nice day. And that brings us to the end of r slash choosing beggars and that is... One heck of a doozy. If you like the video, leave a like down below. And it's, you, know, you, wanna, you wanna just subscribe for more content. How about that? Just subscribe for some more content. And as always, I'll be seeing you.